Hi and welcome. I'm artist Louise Cutler and I just wanted to welcome you to my studio and yes, it's a mess back here and hopefully during the course of creating um, you'll see it get better because <laughs> I'll be doing some cleaning up as well. But I wanted to give you a full uh, experience of what um, my creative life is like and not just those experiences where you come during studio art tour or you come to, to my studio to look at artwork. This is actually going to be walking you through my creative process and what my studio looks like when I am in the midst of a creative process. So this is what it is going to look like while I'm creating. So I will be with you for the next 31 days, the whole entire month of January, creating artwork along with 12 other amazing artists. So I just wanted to welcome you and tell you guys, I am an artist, I am a songstress, I am a sculptor, uh, I do all kinds of things. I feel like it's, as an artist, you become more of a renaissance person where you just kind of do things, um, do what you feel and um, enjoy it. It's like, I love what I do and I love to do what I do. I'll put it that way. And I know it sounds weird, but it's like, I love what I do and I love to do what I do. I am what is considered a creationist. I was created by the creator to create. And so I create in everything that I do, whether it's gardening, uh, singing, writing, painting, drawing, sculpting. I create in every aspect of my life. I've been an artist since I was a child. Um, I drew all the time when I was a kid and I sculpted all the time when I was a kid. And so this is going to be really exciting for me because being able to draw and paint for 31 days and just focusing on that, not saying that I'm just going to uh, ignore my family, I'm not, I'm, but to be able to just do this with 12 other people the, the support and the love and their energy of doing this with 12 other artists is going to be so fantastic. And so I'm so looking forward to it. And everything, it's, I feel like my, my very being is to create, is a creative, I'm a creative being. And so everything that I do, everything that I touch is a creation. And it all comes from the creator. And, and so with that, I am so excited about having you here to watch and experience the whole thing, how I go about doing it, how I create, how I process mentally as well, because it is a mental process. It's not just pen to paper. It is all a mental process. You can see some of the things that you wouldn't normally see behind the scenes of what I do, and so I'm really excited about it. I'm hoping that I'll be able to create a mold for um, my last piece that's a part of the uh, Caregivers of the Earth and that we can actually go to the Foundry and see how that part works as well. So I'm hoping that we can get a chance to do that as well along with some of the other stuff because I'm going to be doing some different stuff, some new stuff. Uh, I've gotten some wood. So I've enjoyed working on wood, which is a piece that's back there. So I'm hoping that you guys will be able to see some of the new things that I'm going to be doing because Creative Quarantine is all about trying new things, um, experimentation, those kind of things. And we're all going to be kind of creating in this sort of virtual world together. And every day, every single day, just kind of tune in and look for who's up, what's going on, those kind of things. It's going to be so much fun. But I'm going to kind of walk you through um, some of the things that I will be doing and some of the textures and things like that. Because I'm going to be dealing with some textures this um, during this 30 days as well as wood and some of, you know, I'll be doing some of my usual things, finishing up product projects that I hadn't finished up. Ah, so I'll be working on some projects that I haven't finished, that I've been meaning to finish. Like I have a book that I haven't finished, actually two, The Book of Healings and R.S. Cutler, The Adventurer. I have one chapter left in that book and I still haven't finished it. So, uh, so finishing up things will be a huge uh, project for me as well. But I'll also be walking you through some of the drawings for that book, as well as just some new, 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 new things that I'm going to be experimenting with. And so definitely tune in because not just me, but other artists are also going to be uh, just experimenting with things, doing things that they haven't done before. 
So I'm really, really looking forward to it and I'm hoping that you are also and that you will get a lot out of it. So let's go on a short little journey through my studio. And like I said, there'll be other artists as well doing this too. So you could pop in and catch all of the different artists doing their thing, enjoying what they do. And the best part is the learning, the learning. You will learn so much. Because I know when I did the Beauty of Blackness Fine Art Show, we learned so much. I was sitting there watching some of the artists because I was learning so much. So for the next 31 days, January 1st to the 31st, 31st, tune in and hang out with us in Creative Quarantine. Go and like the page, Creative Quarantine page, and that way you can follow everything. We also have an event listed. You'll be able to follow all of the videos. I'll have them on my website. They'll be on the Beauty of Black and Spine Art Show website. So definitely make sure you tune in. Don't miss a day. We enjoyed that little bit of a tour and saw what my studio really really looked like and uh, but we're gonna have so much fun doing so much work together and I kind of gave you a tidbit of the different things that I have materials that I'm going to be using and working with some leather uh, wood all of those kind of things so I just wanted to let you guys know some of the things that I'm going to be working with and I am excited about you joining us on the creative quarantine and I'll be video diary and all of that kind of stuff, getting up early in the morning and just chatting. And I would love to have you join along with the chats and all of those kind of things. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you for the next 31 days. Bye. And I'm going to add everything to the stream. Adding to the stream. There we go. And my husband's down there playing a keyboard. <laughs> Can you hear that? Oh my God. Oh. All right, let me see what else is on. I think it's this. Give me a second. Give me a second. Turn this off. There. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. There we go. So we're going to work on this piece of wood. And so hopefully I can get to a better view. And if you hear the piano playing, that's my husband uh, down there pianoing. And so I'm going to lift this up so that you guys can get a better view. The kind of the same view that they're getting over there. On the
There we go. Is that better? Yeah, that's a little better view. And I can probably back it up just a little bit. There we go. So let's bring it back just a little. And then um, over this way. There we go. There we go. So you got a little better view. So like I said, I'm going to add, uh, what I'm going to do is add color because I've already kind of figured out my forms and I did that this morning and I noticed there's a couple of pieces here that are loose um, and they probably became loose when we were doing the, um, when we were carving out the back because we lifted this whole thing up and carved the back out. And so we're going to, these pieces, because I want to keep them, I'm going, when I put the resin in, I'm going to make sure I uh, move the resin close enough so that I can keep those and kind of get them stuck in place. But what we're going to do is we're going to add some color today. We're going to add some color to this and um, add some color to these to kind of define our shapes and our people. And then I'm going to add some color here. And I think I'm going to add a little different color here than I do here. And I'm, and I, I'm gonna add a little different color here than I do here. And I think what I'd like to do here is a nice green. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna actually grab, because I, like I said, I like using the um, liquid acrylics and the liquid acrylics are different from regular acrylics. These are liquid acrylics, so I like using these um, other than, the regular acrylics because the regular acrylics are different and so but i also like using the inks because i want to do a nice green right here so i'm going to get one of my green colors and this i love this color right here too this is one of my favorite colors and i'll be using some of these these will help dye the resin it changes my resin color and so i like having those because it gives my resin a totally different color then um, and I know I have a lot of things here because I've been using this table for several things so we're gonna I'm gonna grab some green really quick I'm gonna come over here and grab some green hey I'm glad you guys are here hanging out with me I'm just gonna come over here and I'm gonna grab some green because I want to use green on that particular piece but I'm going for more of a green um, a green ink kind of color because I like using my inks on here as well. Um, so I'm going to go for more of a inkish light color as opposed to, um, as opposed to just a regular, um, I'm trying to see if I have an inkish light color in here, which it doesn't look like I do. So we're going to use, um, we're actually going to use this, this green right here, and I'm going to add, and then I'll just add some green to it. Hey, so I'm going to go with this green right here, and then I'm going to add some green color to it because this right here is a, oh, there's no green in there. I'll have to add some color to that. I mean, there's green in it, but it's a little dried out, whereas I'm going to add, I'm going to use this green and this green. I'm going to mix those two together to make the kind of green that I'm looking for. So I have these plates. <laughs> I use a lot of these plates and mostly I use these plates um, in my, uh, I use them in my um, drawing classes that I have out of my studio, my studio drawing classes. I use those, these kind of plates. So I'm gonna put a little of this down um, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put some of this in. And this is with a droplet, but I'm gonna pour it because that's gonna take forever. It's gonna take, the droplet will take forever. And I'm gonna grab a bigger brush, which is this brush right here. And before I do that, I'm going to grab um, something to mix it with because I don't wanna mix it with, there we go. I'm gonna grab a palette knife so that I can mix this the way I want it, want to mix this so if you could see it. So I want to mix it. I'm going to mix it in because I want to make this a lot more liquidy. The 
soft body paint I'm mixing with the uh, a liquid acrylic because I want to make the soft body paint um, a little more liquidy like the soft body paint. So here we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. So now you can see it's very liquidy. It's very liquidy and that's what I want. And so I'm going to go in with this brush because I want to make this green, but I'm going to do it in several different layers of green. So I'm going to come in and like I said, I like to see the natural wood through. I forgot my water. So let me grab some water. Get my water bucket because I had to pour my water out earlier. And because I want to see the natural um, wood through. So I'm going to actually add, uh, I'm going to even make it more, more moist and liquefied, liquefied, liquefied with the water. Because I just like, this is just the beginning. So I don't want to, um, I don't want to make anything too thick. I don't want to make any colors too thick um, on this piece of wood. So I'm just going to map it out, map it all out. And you can see though, it soaks right in the water. It soaks, it's soaking right into the wood, which I really like. I like the fact that it soaks right into the wood. It's soaking right into the wood. And I like doing it this way because I still want to see the wood grain. I don't want to take up, like, I don't want to paint the wood grain out. That's not what I want to do. I want to keep my wood grain um, intact. And that's why I do it this way. And I do these light colors because I want you to be able to see that wood grain through. Even when I put the people in, I want you to be able to see the wood grain through where they are. So I'm going to add a little more of that. And then I'm going to come down here and come up over this way. Oh yeah, that's this, and it's interesting how different the wood grain is in different areas. Because this part of it, this wood grain is so much more different than the upper wood grain. So, which is nice in a sense, but it definitely throws you off when the wood grains are different in different spots. So I'm going to keep going with this and I'm trying not to get over into this other whitish area because I don't want to, that's going to be a totally different color. So, and then I want to blend these because I don't want like a dark spot here and a non-dark spot in another place. So I'm going to blend those colors. So there we go. There we go. So this is going to be really, really, really beautiful when I finish and you know it's like I want to do this part and then I'm going to add the resin and sometimes I add the resin before and sometimes I add the resin after it just all depends and so this one I'm going to paint it and get it close to done and then I'm going to add the resin to it so let's get that in and I will be back here at six o'clock tomorrow on the a.m. a.m. I know but it is the creative quarantine and we are working on bodies of work and like I said if you're interested in seeing the other artists that are participating in creative quarantine go over to the Facebook and join our creative quarantine Facebook page that would be the best way to um, get in touch and be a part of what we're doing is to go and join the Facebook page because that's where most of our posts are. Most of the posts for the large group is going to be um, going to be located there. So if you want to see what we're all doing, that would be where you want to head over to. See what we're all doing. Because um, I do every now and then I work on something a little different over there than over here. For the most part. For the most part, I work on the same things. But every now and then, every now and then, 
So I like that. So now you can, can you, I don't know if you can see the form that's in there. You can see the father form in there. Um, so, and you can make comments. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're thinking. You can make some comments. And I see a comment over here. So I'm going to go over here and have a look at the comment. Somebody made a comment. Who is that? Um, let's see. Oh, hey, Bev. So good to see you, Fabulous. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So um, that was a friend of mine. She's Beverly. So, all right. So we're going to work on something else. We're going to use another color. So what I'm doing right now is laying down all my background colors. Um, but like I said, still want to see this wood shine through. So I want to make sure that no matter what I lay down, I still can see this beautiful, beautiful wood shine through. So I want to go for, what was it? I want this reddish color and I'm pretty sure that's an ink. So let me grab that. Let me grab that ink color. It's like a reddish brown ink and I'm going to grab it because it's over here. Um, I know I've lots of things, but I try not to for me. Um, I don't always know what I'm going to do. So I try not to get caught up in, oh, okay, let me get this color. Let me get that color. I kind of let things kind of, um, take on their own, uh, voice, take on their own thought process. So, so you might see me bouncing from one color to the next or saying, oh, let me go and get this color because I, I don't have a set thing and I don't really want a set thing. I just like to let it flow however it's going to flow. I'm just gonna, I see some of this is pulling up and it'll get in my color. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that off. I guess I should have, I guess I should have did this before I put color in there, shouldn't I? All right. So I think that's all going to come up. All right, so I'm gonna pour a little bit of this in here because I like this color. I used this color on my last one um, and really, really like this color. So I'm gonna use it again. I'm gonna use this color again. Oh, look at that. I got a little green in there. It's got a little green in there, but that's okay. So, And I'm going to um, I'm going to grab a sponge, actually. Let's grab a sponge. I have a few sponges, so I'm going to grab a sponge because I want this to look a little different. So I'm going to grab one of my sponges. And yes, I have sponges and all kinds of things. When you work with people and you teach classes, you have all kinds of things in your uh, and then I'm going to wet the sponge because I want it to be a damp sponge. So I'm going to go ahead and wet the sponge because uh, like I did with the other color, let me take, the, take my sleeve out just like I did with the other color. Um, I want it, uh, I want to add more water to it. So with this, um, this is the body. And so I want to do it in this beautiful reddish color. So... You see that beautiful reddish color is what I want to do with the body. There we go. And see that beautiful red color? That's what I want to do with the body. So beautiful red color in it. Okay, we got a little more of that there. And come over here with it. Obviously, I like using this sponge, and I can use a brush, but the sponge, it's something about the sponge coverage that I really, really like. And look at, you can see the beauty of the wood still shining through, and that's what, that's what we're going for. That's what we're going for. And I'm going to hug this corner right here. There we go. There we go. And that's, look at that. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
beautiful. I'm going to darken this a little bit. Because I want it to, you know, don't want to have a dark body. And then you got this um, light head. I'm lightheaded. <laughs> I do like having fun. So just bear that in mind. And yes, we're covering over the baby. The baby's going to be the same color as the mama and the daddy. So, yeah, the baby gets a little covered over, but I know where he is, so it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, I'm going to come back in here, wipe some more color down, and, and I'm going to hug around this mom like that. Just hug around it. There we go. And the same thing here. I'm going to hug around this. There we go. And you can see if you see the form now. If you didn't see it before, you can see a nice form in here. And you can see, see how beautiful this color works with this green? I don't know if you know the fact. But this color and green are just seriously popping. I love having this color and green together. These two colors are perfect together. So I'm going to hug around here again. Hugging. There we go. There we go. Now, you know, if you're not going to get it perfect. So don't, don't shoot for perfection. Because, you know, you're not, it's not meant to be perfect. It's a piece of wood, you know. So we're going to work there. And I'm just going to hug around here again. There we go. So I really like what's going on right there. Can you see? Now you can see um, that image. And it looks like he's holding her right here. That, that looks like a hand, which is kind of neat. And yeah, I really, really like what's going on right now. So now we'll think about like this color. Um, and I think what I want to do is probably do some blue. I want, I, I think I might want to do some blue in here, but I might do some other stuff. So I'm not going to mess with it because unless I know exactly what I want to do, I try not to mess with things because, and then this fellow right here will be totally different. And I think I'm going to go with, cause I'm looking over at my other ones to see what colors I like, like. And um, I'm thinking I might go with this sort of goldish color or something like that and, or mix it with another color. As a matter of fact, I might mix it with the color I just used because I do like this color. But this is a pearlescent, which means that it'll be kind of pearly, kind of pearly, um, you know, that kind of stuff. And then um, I might go back in here with, let me find it. I'm probably going to go back in here with a brush because I don't know if you noticed, but there is uh, some little light spots in there. And that's from, um, that's actually from the fact that this piece of wood had a little crack in it. So I'm going to go in with a brush and just fill in these colors because I'm going to go in with a brush. Go in with a brush here. And kind of catch those colors. Okay. Do those colors. Okay. Just get in there and get the as well light crack out. There we go. So. I'm sure you can hear the piano playing in the background. That's my husband playing the piano in the background. Um, all right, there we go. Okay, and so sometimes those kind of things, I also play with resin. So I might um, go back in later and put some resin in these because they're just so fun to do resin in fun to resin so um, because they're like little cracks and little crevices so that they make fun little things to to, um, 
to go ahead and put something on or go put something in. So I like doing that. There we go. That's done. So I'm going to work on that side now. And I'm going to put this over here. So I'm going to add this color to here. I'm going to add that color to there. And it is very pearlescent. And it's mingling in with that other color, which is awesome. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. See that? Intermingling. It's an interracial relationship. <laughs> it's an interracial relationship right here, folks. Right here, folks. So there we go. All right. So I'm going to come over here a little bit and I'm going to use the same sponge because it has the darker color in it too. So, and then I'm just going to come right here and you can see this is much lighter. It has a sort of yellowish finish to it. I don't know if you can see that, but I can see it. It has sort of a yellowish tint finish to it, which is nice. And I'm going to come back in with just a little more because it has uh, uh, the pearlescent color in it. And I'm trying to get down in some of the cracks areas because if it's going to be right there, I want to make sure that the, all the colors are the same. So we're going to go back in here and get a little bit more. And oh, look at that. Ooh, we're getting some pearlescent on here. I don't know if I want pearlescent on here, but you, yeah. So you can see that pearlescent film right there. So we'll do something and get that. Because I don't know if I really want that pearlescent color on there. So let me see. And I think it's on there because that's, um, all right, I think we can get some of that off. Yeah, you have to get it right off because that pearlescent color is, um, it will stay. It's like, I'm here to stay. I'm not going away. So, and like I said, sometimes I do these and, and then I'll come back the next day and I don't really like it. So, we'll see if I wake up in the morning and still like this. <laughs> I know, I know, it's crazy, right? So, but I'm pretty sure I will. I like these colors. I like the colors. Um, I am definitely a warm toner. So I'm pretty sure I'll like these colors that I put down. Um, so, because this looks like another person over here to me. And so I want to make him or her um, a lighter color in this whole um, scheme of things. I want to make, oh, sorry about that. I'll scoop you back. You can still see. So, uh, definitely want to make that a lighter color. And I'm just going to tap in here a little bit because it's uh, coming from this one. So, I just wanted to add a little more to it. And I do, I like that yellow. And once again, we're going to have to get the brush because you can see we have some spaces. So let me know what you think about the colors that I've chosen. Um, let me know if you like them, don't like them. You like, eh, Louise, they're all right, but I think you should go with something different. <laughs> I know you probably wouldn't say that, but that's just it. Um, just to let you know. Okay, so I'm gonna go in just like I did with that other time. And kind of like what I just sort of feed the cracks because that's what I feel like I'm doing. Like I'm feeding the cracks in different areas. So I'm gonna go back in here, and get in there, and do that. Feeding the cracks because you know it's interesting. You may not feel like you see anything. But, you know, later down the road, all of a sudden, you see these, you see the crack and you see the, um, all of the different things. In there. So I like to go ahead and do it now. Because you're right, later down the road, it still might not show up anything. 
but I like to do this just in case. Just in case it does. Later down the road, we have a crack or something in it. So, um, that's why I like doing this. Going in here and um, kind of getting rid of, um, not all of it. I already know I won't be able to do everything. I already know I won't be able to get rid of every single crack. I won't be able to do that. But, I can get rid of some of them. And that's basically what I'm doing. Getting rid of some of them. Mostly the ones that I see. Mostly the ones that I see. So, here we go. I'm all up in there. All up in there. Trying to find out. Choo -choo. Trying to get it going for a minute. I think we got most of it. It's hard because these cracks are deeper than the cracks that were on the other side. These cracks go a long way. Just think the man can you understand these cracks right here. Just think Grand Canyon? Hmm. Yeah. And then you'll understand the cracks on this wall. I think I'm going to put a little color over here too. Put a little color over here. There's another spot right here that's kind of kind of out of it. So we'll put a little color on it. Put a little more color on it. Yeah, my, yeah, my, I'm in the my studio is in my home, so you probably hear my kids. They are the loud bunch. That's what we're going to call them. <laughs> I think they're down there playing. I got my husband playing the piano, and my kids are down playing video games. Computer, They're computer video gamers. So they're probably down there making lots of noise because of some game. Some game that didn't quite work out the way they expected it to. Yes, that's how it works. All right, so let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this, because I already know right here I'm going to go darker. I already know this green is not the end-all, be-all for me. I mean, I like it, but I'm also going to do something a little glossier. Um, so I might end up adding some of the... Um, I might end up adding some of the resin, just a nice smooth coat of resin around that. I think that'll be really nice. And I think I am going to do that blue around here. I think I'm going to do that blue. And actually the blue I'm going to do is a pearlescent blue. I'm going to do a pearlescent blue because that's going to represent water. Um, because I want it to represent water. So we're going to use some of the blue, but like I said, we're going to use a pearlescent blue. We're going to use a pearlescent blue. Okay, we're going to pour the pearlescent blue. Look at that. You see that? You see how beautiful that is? That is a beautiful blue. Beautiful blue. And we're going to use that. Watch out. We're not going to use this one. We're going to get another one. We're going to get another one. Another one, another one, just like the other one. I know, I can't read this singing something, huh? All right, so we're going to grab another one. We grabbed another sponge. So I'm going to bring this sponge over here. Yeah, I didn't like that, whatever that was. I'm just going to put that sponge in there. And we're going to squeeze this sponge too. Squeeze it, let the moisture get in it. And go ahead and let me know you guys are there. Leave a comment or something. Leave a comment. Um, and if you're not there, you can't leave a comment. That's okay. <laughs> if you're not there, you can't leave a comment. But that's okay. That is okay. So I'm going to come in here. And as you can see, I'm going to come right in here with this blue. Because this is water. It's going to represent water. So the water is actually going to wrap around this green. That's At least that's how I see it. It's wrapping around the green. Wrapping around the greenery. 
that's how I see it. And I really like these colors. I think these colors are going very well, very well together. These colors are going very well together. It's pearlescent, especially. Look at that. Mm. I really like these colors together. I think they're doing well. Mm -hmm. These pieces of wood, I tell you, I love getting these pieces of wood. They are so amazing. So, so amazing. So amazing. Mm -hmm. You're amazing. Mm -hmm. We're all amazing. Did you know that? We're all amazing. A lot of times we don't know we're amazing because of all of the circumstances that surround who we are. But we are all amazing. And don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. So just bear that in mind. There we go. There we go. I'm going to put this on these two. Because you're staying. You might look like you're going, but you're not. Uh, okay. That looks good. That looks good. I like, I really like that. Tell me what you think. Tell me your thoughts. I got a little bit of that on his head. And I didn't like that. Hey, how's it going? Um, so I got a little bit of that on. So I'm just going to take that off. And then right over here. Um, so I like when people chime in. That looks like it needs to. Get another cut. Oh, goodness. See, that's why I have to be careful. When you sit things on top of things, other things leak onto them. <laughs> other things leak onto them. So I like where this is. I like the colors. And you can let me know if you like the colors, don't like the colors. It's okay. I'm going to bump down there because um, there are a couple of bumps in the road on these and this is a whole look at that look at that i mean they're beautiful pieces it's just oh to see this wood is just beautiful this piece of wood is absolutely beautiful um so i'm hoping you can kind of see the form that i'm seeing now and uh just the beauty of this wood and the beauty of the color that's in here um, and they do something with this color. I don't know yet what I'm going to do, so I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to mess with it because I'm, I'm actually seeing it as black, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't like to jump the gun on color, so I'm going to wait a little bit on the color and see just what color it wants to be, you know, because it might want to be something different a different kind of color but this has been pretty amazing these right here i'm going to wash out um because you have to wash your sponges out or your, paint, your brushes out but i am so loving this um here come on we can go this way we're going to go over to my sink that's what we're going to head over to the sink so um i'm going to turn this other one turn you on turn your other one on hey Hey, Florence, how are you guys? So I'm going to bring this one back up. So because I'm just headed over to the sink right now. I'm headed over to the sink in that part of my studio. So you can see I can take you over that way. So I'm just headed over to the sink because um, I'm going to wash these out. I'm going to wash these sponges out. And I've already done the brushes. So I'm going to wash these sponges out. I got oh, all kinds of stuff is in my sink right now. So let's wash these sponges out. Squeeze out all this color. Squeezing out color. 
We got the blue and we got that really nice brown. So there we go. Squeeze out color. Squeeze out, squeeze out color. There we go. All right. So I think we're going to end here. Turn this way. I think we're going to end here um, because I like what I've done so far, but one of the things I don't like to do, I don't like to push things and I don't like to rush things. So, but I do like what I've done so far. And so I'm going to just let this marinate. <laughs> I'm going to let this marinate. That means, that means I'm going to let this sit and um, see what comes out of it what what do i like about it what i don't like about it oh. and so i'm just gonna let that um kind of just sit and uh see how it will all play out i think i have it i'm gonna put some more of this color down put some more of that color down it's right here but this is um a stronger color so i'm gonna dip some of that off and there's a couple of spots here. A couple of spots here. Not a lot of spots. But there's a couple of them showing themselves off. There we go. And this is going to be so much fun to do and to finish. It's going to be a lot of fun to finish. So we've gotten our first, we got our start, and that's a blessing. So we got our start. We got our start colors. We got our start look. So this, I think that we're going to end it right here. We're going to stop right here because I'm happy with it. I love this green. Um, I love the the couple and the, the family. I love that. And I love the blue right here. So now it's just a matter of seeing what it is that I want to do with all of it. So um, we're going to sign out. Sign out. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys are amazing, 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 amazing. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will be back tomorrow morning if you want to come hang out with me. I'll be back tomorrow morning at, um, what? I'll be back tomorrow morning at 6. At 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock, yes. So I'm going to sign out and say bye-bye to my Instagrammers. Thank you guys for following me. I will see you next time. So bye-bye. Hopefully I'll see you in the morning at six. So we're going to download this video. I don't think I downloaded that last one, but let's download this one. And then let's walk over here. I'm going to walk over here to where you guys are. And if you, like I said, if you have some questions for me um, or just comments, so love to hear from you. Would love to hear your questions. Would love to hear your comments. Um, oh, here. You're like, where are you, Louise? I'm down here. So let's, there I am. Hey. <laughs> Hey, 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 um, I'm just closing out my, I'm closing out Instagram. Um, we're just going to close out the on my Instagram here. And let's bring this down. Did I do that right? Let's see. Let's bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Well, it doesn't want to come down. Yeah, I'm tired. I had, um... I was up till four yesterday, so I'm definitely going to try to get to bed earlier today. <laughs> I'm definitely, oh, that's why it was on that. So I'm definitely going to try to get to bed a little earlier today. So let's see, is that what we want to go with? Yeah. Um, and we'll put creative quarantine. Quarantine. So, um, so we're gonna sign out here because it is almost an hour. So we're gonna sign out. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and you know watching me work 
this evening. So we're going to go ahead and sign out. And I will see you guys tomorrow. If you're around at 6, I'll be here. Bye.